Hello ladies and gents, in this video I'm going to very quickly show you how to make a simple box piece or lamp piece that you can use um, on the laser cutter. We're going to make the example that you see on the screen. I'm going to try and do this with minimal explanation to make the video as short as possible. So start by clicking File, New, create your canvas, make sure you've got millimeters selected make sure you've got the size of the canvas that you want so for me it's 200 by 200 millimeters make sure the color mode is set to RGB color click create click on the rectangle tool draw a rectangle or square on your screen doesn't matter about the size change the width to whatever size you need so for me it's going to be a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter square change those and use the selection tool to move that kind of into the center, dead center of my canvas. Click the rectangle tool again, create another rectangle, change the width to the width of your material. So I'm using 2.6 millimeter plywood. And then the height is going to be the height of the other piece we just created. So 100 millimeters. Use the selection tool to drag that into place at the side. Make sure you see the intersect lines to make sure it's perfectly positioned. And then go to Object, Path, Split into Grid. We can leave the number of columns as it is. So we're going to have five fingers. So I'm going to change the number of rows to five. And I'm going to click OK. Then Edit, Copy, edit paste and move this copy over to the other side of the square again look for those intersect lines edit paste again and you can use the rotation tool by just moving to the side of your shape if you can't get it exactly the right angle use the rotate option in the properties panel so you can click on that and type whatever angle it is you need so 270 degrees and then use the selection tool to move that up to the top of the box again look for those intersect lines and then we'll edit copy edit paste that to avoid rotating it again and move that to the bottom of the box now click on the selection tool drag a box around everything you've created you need to make sure everything is highlighted in blue, otherwise the next step will not work. So with that highlighted, go to the Shape Builder tool. If you don't see this tool, make sure in Window you are in the workspace using Essentials, and in the toolbars you are using Advanced. If it's set to Basic, some of the tools disappear. So make sure you have Essentials and advanced selected now go to the shapes builder tool it looks like a cloud with a little triangular cursor next to it click that move your cursor into the center of your shape and you can see it's highlighted in gray and then click and hold to draw over the parts that you want to join to this larger shape so I want to click and hold and you can see a line appears from the cursor and I'm going to just go over the bits that I want to join. Um, you can do this over multiple parts at once. So I want this one, these three, this one, these three, this one, these three, this one. Okay, so the Shape Builder tool has kind of joined those, welded them together. Um, so if I go to the selection tool now and click anywhere on the background, this is what the current state of the piece looks like. Uh, obviously there are lines that I don't want. I want to remove some of these lines. So to do that, I'm going to make sure the selection tool has been clicked. Click on the corner to select the, the path, the, the shape that you've created. Click and hold, drag that out of the way. And you can see these bits that weren't joined to the larger shape have been left behind drag a box around them, press the delete key, and then bring your shape back onto the canvas. And then finally, to make it suitable for use with the laser cutter, make sure it's all selected, change the stroke color to 
RGB red. So red channel to maximum 255, green channel to zero, blue channel to zero, and you can turn the fill color off. And the stroke size should be one point. And that's it, that's how you create a piece that you can use with the laser cutter. It's very simple using the Shapes Builder tool. You'll have to save that by going to File, Save As, save your file in Illustrator format in case you need to make changes later. So I'm gonna call this Box Piece 2 because I've already got one from earlier on. So Box Piece 2, save that. You'll see Illustrator options pop up, just click OK. And then, so you can actually use it with a laser cutter, go to File, Save As again. You can leave the name as it is and make sure you've saved this one as an SVG. And this is the one that you'll be putting onto a USB drive or however you, you know, put the file on your laser cutter um, and then hit save. When you see the SVG options, click OK. And that's it, you are finished.